Hey guys, Double Wide Six, and today I'm looking at a Cub Cadet tractor, and the problem is that the battery is not charging. So this video is going to cover what to look for when your battery is not charging. So uh, first thing I want to talk about is how the charging system actually works. Underneath the flywheel is an alternator, or sometimes called a stator, looks like this. And the flywheel has magnets embedded in it. And when the flywheel spins around the stator, it produces a magnetic field which creates AC current. So the first thing we're going to check out when this thing's running, we're going to check to see if we have AC current coming out of the alternator. And then uh, if we have AC current, that then goes into this regulator rectifier which will take the AC current, it should be about 30 volts. It's gonna take that, turn it into DC, somewhere around uh, you know, 14, 15 volts DC. And this, go, this lead here goes up to the uh, battery. So that, that's how it charges. And uh, we're gonna take a look at this one and just do a couple quick tests to tell if the stator's bad or if the regulator's bad. Okay, so the common problem is you come out the garage, try and start it, and it won't start because the battery's dead. So the first thing you want to do is check if the charging system is charging. So I hooked up my voltmeter here, and we're checking DC volts of the battery, the leads of that are going to the battery. We're going to start the uh, engine, and we should have about 14 volts if it's charging the battery. And that should be at full speed. So we're not getting any charging current. So the next thing we're going to look at is the stator. All right, so we're going to check out the stator. And the stator uh, is producing AC current. And it's coming through this little yellow pigtail. And you can see I have my probes hooked up to that. Um, I found the easiest way to do this and show you the meter is to kind of like back probe it. So we're hooked up there and we should be producing AC voltage if the uh, stator is working. So we'll quick start this. Okay, so uh, now that we know our stators produce an AC current, we're going to check out this uh, regulator. And this should be taking that AC current and producing it, producing DC current, converting it. And it should have about, uh, I think like 14 volts or so DC. So I set up my meter here, and it's on the 20 scale. And we'll give it a start. And we're hooked up to the red lead here. I unplugged that pigtail. And I'm just uh, grounding up here for the negative. And we'll see what we have. The meter was showing about 2.5 volts DC. So our rectifier isn't producing enough DC voltage. So we need to replace that and that should begin charging the battery for us. So that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so we switched up the part, new regulator on there, and uh, we're still hooked up to the battery, and we're gonna check. Right now, that's battery voltage 12.4. I'm gonna start it, and uh, we're looking to have somewhere close to 14 if the charging system's working. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, my probe came loose on the positive terminal of the battery, but the meter showed about 13 and a half, and I wasn't even running at uh, full throttle. So uh, that's good, we're definitely charging because before it was showing about 12.3 I believe. Um, I just wanted to mention that sometimes the uh, Kohlers, a lot of times the uh, 
rectifiers aren't uh, grounded properly so it won't charge the battery if it's not grounded properly so that's something to look at if your rectifier and your stator are both testing well and uh, you don't have power you want to check this red wire because this leads I believe up to the key switch through the key switch and then to the battery positive terminal so uh, those are the things that you want to look at if you're having an issue with your uh, Briggs and Stratton not charging I'll put links down in the description to the parts that you would need to replace if uh, you're having a battery charging issue. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if this video helped you out. Take care.